today we're talking all about our very first Thousand Trails Encore property experience. Which actually is before we've ever even been in a regular Thousand Trails. True. Very true. Um, is it what you expected? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like don't know what I really expected. Yeah. Like I think I had high hopes, but knew better than to have high hopes. <laughs> Well, so that way I'm not let down in any circumstances. Yeah, I'll say this. I've seen worse. I mean, yeah. I'll put it that way. I've seen way worse. I've seen worse and I felt I felt like it wasn't great when we got here, but it's kind of grown on me. The initial shock of backing up next to a building, I think is was like the downer part. Yeah. Like you didn't prepare mentally prepare to come here and say your spot is right up against this building yeah so back her up <laughs> so uh, let me explain a little bit so the park layout is is pretty unique it has two big circles and in the middle of each one of these circles is a building and the, the front circle closer to the entrance that building is the office and where you check in and, and where the, the pool is most amenities yeah and then on the back circle there is another building and around the building yeah. has a bunch of um, RV hookups. Mm -hmm. And I guess this is the spot where they have deemed that Thousand Trails members will will be staying. staying. Yeah. Now back in the back is mostly full-time residents, mm -hmm. except for around this building. Yeah. And I think there's like 10 spots that circle around the building. Some are bigger, yeah. some are small. We got one of the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just not traditional. No. Uh, but it's not, it's not bad. No. It's been quiet. Considering how many people come and use the laundry facility yeah. in this building, it's really been quiet. Yeah, and one, one of the things that, I mean, it, it does put you pretty close to the building on one side. The slide mm -hmm. comes out pretty close, so we can't sit over there and watch our TV outside because it's just too tight. Yeah. And then we, we backed all the way up to the building as far as we could go without running the RV into the building. Mm -hmm. And our 25 foot water hose was still not long enough. No. So we had to use the extension. And I know what you're thinking, that the little orange extension, you're thinking, isn't that to your portable <laughs> tank? Okay. And that, that's pretty nasty. That's correct. It is it, to our portable tank, but it's never been used before. No. It was still brand new. So it's not as nasty as what no. it may appear. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's never been touched. Yeah. Um, so that's the layout. Now, let's talk about cost for a second because okay. we paid $299 for the whole year for the um, trails collection yeah. add-on mm -hmm. which is all the Encore properties and the Thousand Trails uh, campgrounds yeah and $299 a year sounds like a lot but had we just stayed here now granted we would have been staying up front in the pull in the pull-throughs <laughs> nicer spots but, but yeah. it would have cost us over $400 to stay here for the two weeks that we stayed here yeah one stay has paid already for paid for the, the whole year yeah. of Encore and Trails okay. Collection properties. Yeah. So to me, not bad. Even if this spot was terrible, yeah. paid for itself. Yeah. And really at the end of the day, when you go inside your RV, you're home. Yeah. It feels the same inside. Yeah. So not bad. And it's, it's been really quiet out here. It really has. Um, and the reason that they and we're at the, the Sunshine Daytona RV Resort. Mm -hmm. And the reason that it's a resort, because it has all these amenities. It does have quite a bit of amenities. Now, they're not all kept up no, as well as they could be. Uh, they do have a swimming pool. That's kept up very well. Yes, beautiful pool. And probably because it's Florida. So they keep that yeah. up because people use it year round. Yeah. I mean, um, we're going into November. It's almost got to 90 degrees today yeah in daytona so you can use that pool for a long time um they do have a little mini golf course out there mm -hmm. not very well kept up yeah pretty small generic holes yeah but, um they but have, i mean kids look, younger kids would have a yeah of a just time go just let them out, out there and play the ball. yeah yeah um they have a tennis court it looks pretty nice pretty well kept yeah up. that actually looks pretty uh, neat. right next to the tennis court they have a horseshoe pit and shuffleboard. shuffleboard looks like no one's used that in a very long time yeah. and the horseshoe pit especially the things are are bent out and stuff um, they have a small basketball court a mm -hmm. one one hoop half court basketball court 
at the handball court. Doesn't look like anybody's used that for a while. Um, yeah. There's a playground up front with some pretty cool equipment. Yeah. And the kids, we've seen kids out there playing yeah, on that. Yeah, that is actually decent. And so that's been, been cool. The hub that we're actually backed up to is where all the bathrooms, the laundry it's facilities are. It's a multi-purpose building. Yeah, and I went into the, to the male bathroom and there's lots of stalls in there, lots of sinks, um, personal showers with the little bench so you can do your shower. We don't really know much about we, that because we're self-contained. We so we really... Yeah. This is the first one I've even been in. I've never walked since we've into been any full of the time. facilities at But I part. wanted to show you what it looked like. Yeah. So I don't know how to how to gauge that on yeah. a scale of how you know good to not good, but it looked decent. And they do have the um, the laundry room over there. It takes coins. It, it costs money to get in there. The bigger part of this building is like a big. There's a big rec right. hall. Yeah. Where they play bingo. We've seen them in there we've playing bingo. Them. Yeah. Um, so they have other activities. The people that live here, I guess they do like community activities and things. And themed things. Yeah, so that yeah. seemed pretty cool. They had some um, some Halloween stuff going on in there while we were here. Um, there is, and then there's another little room that has like darts. Pool there's table. A, yeah, there's a pool table, a poker table. Poker. So uh, it was a cool looking little, little place. Yeah. But um, like I said, when we first pulled in, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Even though we're we're staying for free, it's gonna. I knew two weeks. It's already paying for itself. But I was like, oh man. But then yeah. it's kind of really grown on me. It has. And it's a good sized place. Plenty of room for walking, getting some exercise. Yeah. Now we have our e-bikes. So we've been riding we've been bikes around. Tooling it. around the, yeah. <laughs> the, the thing, and everybody's been really nice. Took Scout for a walk in his stroller. He got to see the whole thing. Yeah. Now, when we first got here, there was not anybody on either side of us, so no, it, we, it felt like we for had the this, most part. Uh, we've had it to yeah, ourselves. Yeah, a big space. It's just here recently. Yeah, just in the last two days, we've gotten neighbors on on that side. Two days ago, neighbors on this side. Yesterday, so now it feels a little tighter, but still so, not bad. Yeah. And the people who are here, because we're at the hub, and they have to come here for their community events, their showers, sure. their laundry and stuff. So everybody's got golf carts. Yes, that's the thing. And yes, we're right at the entrance. The if you step out of our steps, we're right at the entrance of that building. But they've been all really cool about not parking their 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 golf, golf carts on our on our our, our spot. Yeah. And they've it's been really um, respectful mm -hmm. and kept it quiet. And so it's really not that bad of a place. No. And it's really only maybe 20, 25 minutes from everything that you need to get to in Daytona. Yeah. Um, it's still close enough to, if you want to go up to St. Augustine, it's pretty close. Mm -hmm. New Smyrna's pretty close. Yep. Uh, anything in Daytona. We popped into Orlando a couple of a couple times, times. Uh, yeah. to see. My mom, we're going back into Orlando to see your sister yeah. and aunt and yeah. uncle tomorrow. So um, it's really a good location. It has been. Yeah, got to go to the beach. And, uh, so it's, yeah, it's very really close cool. to the beaches. Yeah, so if you're just looking for a place uh, to hang out, and you have the the trails collection um not a terrible not spot terrible. yeah could have been a lot worse yeah like if we're ever back in the area i foresee us using it again yeah and i you know we like i said we don't have anything to gauge it off of so i don't know i yeah. don't know we'll just yeah. have to see exactly um but next week we are headed into orlando we're going to be staying at the orlando rv resort and uh that is thousand trails, trails. yes like true thousand trails. full on thousand trails mm -hmm. so that'll be our first one there we will um we don't do a lot of campground reviews uh but we wanted to show you our first experience at an encore property yeah we'll show you our first experience at a thousand trails yeah. property and along the way as we stop at thousand trails if there's ones that we really really love we'll show those if there's ones that are really really bad we'll show those too to help you keep away from those but for the most part we're not going to really be doing reviews. a review every time yeah. we go to one but uh, we hope you enjoyed this hope you got something out of it again the place is sunshine daytona RV Resort, isn't it? Sunshine Holiday. Sunshine Holiday. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the name of the place is Sunshine Holiday Daytona yeah. RV Resort. I should have not even attempted that. Yeah. <laughs> or I should have wrote it on, on the board. We got our bullet points. Huh. <laughs> we cheat. <laughs> oh, so we know we're gonna. So I don't forget stuff. But I should have wrote the name of the place. And I didn't do it. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you're staying around here, yeah, it's worth staying. Yeah. All right. That it. I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we are gonna honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.